guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the pieces that I picked up at the Aritzia fall, winter, or like end of year sale that they have going on right now. If you guys didn't know, they have a huge sale going on where they have almost everything on sale up to 50% off in store or online. So if you guys have been having your eye on something from Aritzia, I know that a lot of you always comment whenever I mention Aritzia, how much you love their pieces, but they are pricey. This is a very good opportunity to shop from their store. So yes i have partnered with them in this video and i did pick out all of these pieces that you see back here so yeah i think these videos are helpful because i am going to review everything i'm going to tell you how the quality is how it fits and you're going to see it like in action so this can kind of help you narrow down your shopping so yeah if you guys are interested just keep watching so when i'm shopping a sale i look for two things i want good quality basics that I might or might not have in my collection already, but that I wear so much or that I know I'm gonna wear so, so, so often that I kind of need like some kind of backup of. For example, a black tee, maybe like a different style of a black tee or like a very basic tee that I know that I can wear over and over and over and over and over again, but I still want it to be good quality because it's gonna have to sustain washes and it's gonna have to sustain a lot, a lot of wear. So I want it to be good quality, but I don't necessarily want to spend like $80 on a very 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 basic shirt so I look for sales on very basic things that are better quality and then the other thing that I look for in a sale is the complete opposite side of the spectrum so things that I might not wear that often that I want it to be good quality that I know that I am going to need in my collection but that I don't necessarily gravitate towards like on a daily basis for example a very very nice coat i know that i live in miami but i do go on several winter vacations every year so i keep my winter clothes like for years and years and years and years so i like it to be basic but very very good quality because you know it's something that i don't need to repurchase pretty much ever again as long as it fits me it's and it's a very classic design so yeah i just wanted to preface this video because even though this is a lot i do go into it with a conscious mentality i sit down i really think about things i pull things out of my wish list you know i'm not just like blindly shopping so the first thing is what i'm actually wearing and this is kind of like a wool blend it kind of feels like felt sort of it's sort of stiff but it's not itchy or uncomfortable at all and i'm not wearing anything underneath this i love this kind of neck where it's not like choking me so i like it to be like this kind of loose very like chic structured but not if that makes any sense and obviously this color it's like a cream beautiful ivory color obsessed with this i just tuck the front in the sleeves don't go like all the way i do have very long arms just keep that in mind but i do kind of do this because you know, it's not that cold outside. It's not a super, super warm uh, sweater, but if you wear something underneath and you can definitely make this warm. So this is the Diane Birch Balio. I don't know, I'll like write it somewhere. And it's in a size medium. Okay, next, this is probably the thing that I like the most out of this entire haul. I do not have blazers and I've always wanted a blazer, but I'm just so extremely picky. I don't like my blazers to be too short. I want it to hit like perfectly like below my butt and I don't want it to be like too oversized, but I don't want it to be like too slim. And I found this one and this is the Little Moon Kaluna blazer and it is in a size medium and i absolutely love this i love how it fits i love how it's not extremely extremely thick or like too 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 hot even though this is a fully lined blazer it's like i roll up the sleeves and i can definitely get away with wearing this with like a white tee or a black tee underneath and some jeans like very casual you know even though i live in a hotter climate i can get away with wearing this this in my opinion, is something that is very classic. I do not think that this is gonna go out of style anytime soon. These buttons are beautiful. They're like tortoise shell. I couldn't pass up another blazer just to like complete my collection. I don't think I need any more blazers in this, but never say never. <laughs> I got a black one because it's just classic, you know, and I love blazers worn with like nothing underneath and cinched at the waist with a belt. Like that's like the vibe that I'm really loving right now. I do that all the time with a coat that I have and I just needed something a little bit more structured but obviously you can wear this the same way with like a tee underneath or like a turtleneck and this is their sessile or sessile black blazer in a size medium as well and this is lined but it's like a very soft 
material. Like I really, really love this kind of material where it just sits on your body so beautifully. Like it's still structured, but it sits beautifully on the body. So yeah, I, I really did think that that was like something that was really missing from my collection. I, I just, I don't have blazers at all. So as I was saying, I really love shopping basics. I love good quality basics, but don't necessarily want to spend full price on it. So shopping on sale is a very good idea for that. So I got two basic tees and I'm gonna go and buy every color because it is amazing. These are the best feeling tees ever. Like I thought I loved my Everlane tees and I do, but this is just that quality that's like kind of heavy and very like drapey that sits beautifully on the body. This is by Wilfred Free. That's like my favorite line from Aritzia. They're both in a size small and they're just pocket tees. So this is the Gradilla or Gradilla. This is in heather gray. I got it in a small. So yeah, I don't have a gray tee, let alone a pocket tee. And I don't have a black pocket tee. These shirts are good. I would pay full price for this. I do not care. <laughs> but if you can get it on sale, then even better. Another basic that I got is this shirt right here, which I needed a kind of like ribbed, uh, long sleeve because the only other ribbed long sleeve that I have is one that I got a couple years ago from Urban Outfitters which I really loved but after wearing it so much and washing it so much it started pilling like the quality is just not very good so I picked up this one and this is in a medium this is their Rita shirt and this kind of looks a little sheer but uh, you just have to wear like a black bra underneath I love this kind of material where it's very airy and it just like sits beautifully on the body as well. You can tuck this in. I just think that everybody needs like a black plain ribbed long sleeve in their collection and a white one as well. Next I have this sweater right here, which I don't own anything like it in my collection either. And it just looks like this. It's like a fluffy uh, zip up turtleneck. And this is their Gwyneth sweater in a size medium. And this is in the Heather light gray. I actually really wanted the, I think it's like a cream colored one, but they didn't have that one in stock. So I thought that this one is very beautiful as well. I'm recently like getting more into Heather gray. I used to be very into it, but then I kind of just stopped wearing it. And now I'm like back into it. And I just, I think that Heather gray sweaters are such a classic and i love the zipper detail i think it's like a very modern beautiful touch next i have this dress right here and i needed something like this in my collection because i don't think i have any like utility looking dresses at all and i love the way that they look i want to wear this with like sneakers or like boots or something i will say that i could have probably gotten this in a small because it is kind of oversized but since it ties at the waist i don't really mind it and i'm pretty tall so the length doesn't bother me this is by babaton it's a medium and it's the hoet dress not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but yeah uh this material is a dream it is again that very like i don't know if you can tell that material that doesn't get wrinkled it sits beautifully on the body it's kind of heavy very very luxurious feeling a uh, very expensive feeling absolutely love this i love the pockets and these are actual pockets not that i'm gonna put anything in there <laughs> but never say never these down here are also pockets and then it has uh, the strings to be able to tie it in the middle and speaking of dresses i do not own a basic black dress like i do but i don't have like a nice black dress that i can wear to several different occasions it's professional but it's still sexy and elegant and beautiful and i need it you know it's something that i want to have in my collection but since i don't wear it that often it's probably not worth paying full price for it so that's something that i would probably get like in a sale or something and a basic black dress is something that is never going to go out of style so i got this one honestly i didn't think i was gonna like it as much as i did when you put this on it kind of like cinches your waist in a way that i've never seen before uh it's like the way that the dress is made it, it i don't know how to explain it but it cinches your waist accentuates your hips it's off the shoulder uh, this is a babaton it's in a size six and it fits perfectly it's a midi dress this is like a game changer right here this like 
this this like craftsmanship <laughs> uh this is more like it feels kind of like a jersey kind of material but a thicker one this is just so beautiful you're going to look elegant no matter where you wear this to i can't say enough good things about this dress so this next thing is that side of the spectrum that i talked about in the beginning of this video where i'm not going to use it that often so i don't want to pay full price for it but i do want it to be very very good quality because it's something that i'm going to have forever and i do think that everybody needs one of these in their collection even if you don't live in a colder climate if you go on winter vacations i think that everybody needs a good coat so i did not have a good black coat and this one is beautiful so this is by wilfred as well and i got this in a size two and this is their elena coat and it's a very very long coat which is what i wanted it is lined as you can see and this is the most luxurious feeling thing I think I've ever owned. I feel like Cruella de Vil in this. I will say that this is very, very oversized. So I could have probably gone down to a one. I'm not sure because once I wear something thick underneath this, like a thick knit or something, my arms are just, you know, they're, they're good in this size coat. I don't know how I would be in a smaller one, but as far as like the whole body, it is meant to be oversized. So if you don't like that look if you don't like very oversized coats then you might want to get a smaller size i could go take it in to get sized like perfectly but I, I don't think it's bad like that oversized look i like that you just have to picture it with like a thick knit a thick scarf boots you know like the whole nine and yeah um i'm definitely going to wear this whenever i go on any of my winter vacations if you live in a colder climate then something like this is a no-brainer i really love my jeans but i've just been very into wearing pants lately so i picked up these two and they have very very good reviews which is part of the reason why i was drawn to it just like more professional looking pants that you can dress up or dress down the first one is just a plain black one and this is their very popular gelade i think that's how you pronounce it pants i got this in a size six but to be honest i could have probably gone up a size but they do fit like they fit my waist fine it's just kind of tight like on my thigh area and on my butt area and i usually don't mind that but i think that for this kind of pant it kind of looks better to have you cinched at the waist and have it be a little bit more loose at the bottom so yeah i don't know but i think i can make these work they're kind of like a stretchy material not too stretchy at all but they definitely have some kind of stretch to them and they feel very nice. They have the pockets that you can open if you want, but I think I'm just gonna leave mine closed. Very, very high-waisted and very cinched at the waist. So if you don't want to wear this belt, you can take it off if you want. So yeah, it just depends what you're going for. If you want the pants to fit you kind of snug and hug your body, then get your normal size. But if you want it to be a little bit more loose and you know it's still cinched at the waist, but just a little bit more loose, then go up a size. And I also got them in this beautiful like heather gray this is tweed so this is also a size six and these for some reason fit me better like they fit me more true to size than those those are a tiny bit tighter i don't have anything like these pants in my collection i think that pants is another thing like if you're looking for very basic whether it's professional or not pants that you can dress up or dress down i think that aritzia has a beautiful selection of pants and i've found that all of their pants fit the body very well so those are all of my picks for the sale thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video